What's up, Sass This is your girl, Sassy J, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, guys, to another Love Island review. Before we get into the video, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, of course, oh, welcome, okay? Please subscribe before you leave, guys, and turn on your notification bell so you get updated every single time I upload a new video. Thank you. But anyways, guys, let's get into the video. Get into... Guys, you know what? You know that necklace? That, um, that sweet necklace that what's his name bought? Um... Sean bought Matilda. I had the same exact necklace last night. I ate that same necklace. My um my flatmate went to Tenerife and he bought some back. And I ate that necklace last night. I was literally looking at it and thinking, look here. <laughs> I ate your necklace, girl. But anyways, guys. So we see um Joey apologizing again to Mimi. And this time he came bearing gifts. He brought her flowers to apologize. And he's saying to her, listen, I want the best for you. I'm really sorry. I promise you this is it. It is done. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry I upset you. Yada, yada, yada. Um, obviously, Mimi was taken back by the flowers. Obviously, it's a bigger gesture. So she was like, okay, do you know what? He did run out of his way to do me wrong. And now he's gone out of his way to fix it. And she told him, listen, I was never going to hold like a, a malice or anything like that. I was simply just going to take myself from the situation. You know what I mean? And just kind of step away from it and let you do your stuff. Uh, now, can I just point out, because my Ida Compound Tracex there, listen, when Jesse realized, Jesse don't like Mimi, you know? Jesse don't like Mimi. When Jesse realized that Joey got uh, Mimi flowers, did you not hear the tone in her voice? Did he get her flowers? You know what I'm saying? And when it kind of showed her face a little bit, she didn't look pleased. She did not look pleased. And bear in mind, yeah, even when they woke up the following morning, she was saying that Joey didn't get no hugs. And also, let me take you back. Let me take you back. When they're making the decision to choose two couples and Joey was saying, I don't think we should go for Mimi and Josh. I think we should go for Kieran and Nicole. And she went, I strongly, I strongly would like to put down Mimi and Josh. She doesn't like Mimi. That girl does not like Mimi. I friended me that day and I hope Mimi stay very clear from her when they come out of the villa because she don't like Mimi. It's just one of them ones that will pretend they like you, smile in your face, but they don't like you at all. But you know what, guys? In all honesty, it would have been a difficult decision anyways because people are getting close and it's never easy voting for somebody, especially when you're friends with them. I did not want Mimi and Josh or Jess and Ayo to be voted, but I knew better. I knew it was going to happen. Just even if it was just because of the whole situation that they were entangling. I think Joey uh, opting to not vote for Mimi and Josh is him trying to show that, listen, I'm not holding a grudge. Which is kind of crazy because he was thinking with Nicole and Kieran saying, you know what, I feel like they're going to vote for us because of what happened. And I think he, initially he wanted to vote for them purely because of that. Do you see what I'm saying? But Jesse did not want to vote for that. Jesse voted for Matilda and Sean and for Nick and for Mimi and Josh. Now, Matilda and Sean, I get it because a lot of the couples were saying, listen, I feel like it's kind of, you know, it wouldn't work, the red flag or whatever, purely because Sean has been getting himself in so many, like, situations that has drawn on quite a lot of negativity towards them as a couple because even I was like I feel like it's one-sided but Jess is like one-sided how and he's like because I feel like all the problems are coming from Sean's side which is true but we did hear Sean tell Matilda that he loved her right she didn't say it back he asked her are you heading into that direction and she said yes so I'm saying I feel like yes she probably is as she says because she did tell the girls like earlier that she felt like she was falling but sometimes i believe them yeah man i don't believe them i don't go about them my business i believe them but i believe josh though <laughs> i believe josh look way <laughs> hey is gonna say you been biased ass and what i'm a bias my bias and what but like josh i like him i like him but i do like josh and josh is like i just love how listen what I love about a guy, when a guy talks passionately about his woman, it just does something to me. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I knew this one person one time, you know, and he was talking about his future wife. Bear in mind, this man was still single. But the way he was talking about his future wife, I wanted to be his future wife. Just because of the way in my top about him future wife, I said, eh! If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you want it, then you should have put a ring on it. I said, I was ready. I was ready, I'm not lie. So... 
hearing Josh talking about Mimi like that, I feel some kind of way. I feel some kind of way and I love it, you know what I'm saying? And it's mutual because she feels the same way about him too, you know what I'm saying? But the couples now, um, I don't know. I feel like, here's the thing. I personally feel like, I don't think um they didn't, did they? No, Kieran and Nicole did not get a vote. But here's the thing, guys. Kieran and Nicole needed a vote. I'm not being, I'm not being funny. Because Kieran and Nicole was bickering. They couldn't even make a bloody decision. And they always argue, can Kieran and Nicole just ha be in a situation where they don't have to argue? I mean, that if that's not a red flag, I don't know what is. I don't care whether they're boyfriends or girlfriends. People might not choose them because they're boyfriend and girlfriends. But there's red flags walking all over that. I'm not going to lie. Those are some strong red flags as well. Because Kieran, you can tell Kieran wasn't even happy with the vote that he made. Because I get, from what I was getting, right? I feel like Kieran was pro Jess and Ayo. And uh, Nicole was pro Mimi and Josh. Because she was saying, no, they're different. I feel like Mimi and Josh I'm more happier, more stronger. Do you see what I'm saying? And um, I think Kieran, com correct me if I'm wrong, because it's kind of hard sometimes me trying to write stuff down, making little notes or whatever, and trying to listen. And then my whisper, then my whisper, hey, I had to turn up my TV. I was like this. I had to turn my TV up. I'm like, Nicole, talk with your accent. It's hard for me to make up with an accent and then the whispering. I mean, done the already because look at me, one woolly power wax down my ears. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I had to say that on, on YouTube, but it's true. You're lucky. So I couldn't hear nothing. So I'm just trying to listen, I'm trying to listen, I'm trying to listen. But it sounded like Nicole was pro Mimi and Josh, which I'm always going to be for, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I just feel like they couldn't have that conversation where they could have just agreed to disagree, like peacefully. Nicole, I feel like Nicole likes to have her own way. And the problem is, and this is the reason why I feel like they're not going to last on the outside, because Nicole wants to have her own way. And she's not very open to listen to listening to Kieran. Because the moment Kieran starts to give his, his opinion on something, she snaps. No, but I think, and I'm not, do you know what I mean? It's always this and the head movement and she's accusing him of this. But you can tell, like, at one time, I'm like, oh my God. I looked at his face. I'm just like, this boy, just run, man. Blink, Kieran, blink. Blink if you want help. Blink, blink. To blink. Help me. Help me. Help me. Me, do you know what I'm saying? That's all he needs to do. But then again, I him got take her up. I'm gonna make her him girlfriend. Make him I'm lucky. I'm not feeling sorry for him. But honestly, I like Kieran and Nicole. But we gotta be honest. That's some serious red flag right there. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I would want them to, but it's not gonna work because of Nicole. I think as well. Nicole is too fiery, and Nicole is too. She want her own way all the time, and I think Nicole has problems with communication because. I just feel like if things are not going her way, she's not really that interested or she tried to like mope or she tried to argue until it, it becomes, you know, her way or no way, basically. So, and I don't think, I think how long will Kieran, you know, be able to, to, to kind of put up with that? How long before? Because come on, it's hard. You can only put up with certain kind of things for a certain amount of time. And I feel like that's going to be the break of them. That's my own opinion. But anyways, um, so Mimi and Josh went for Jess and Jessica and um, Ayo. And they also went for, I think, Jesse, Jesse and what's it called? Jesse and Joey. For me, I didn't want them to go for Jesse and, and Ayo, to be honest with you. I was hoping that they didn't. But they did. But it is what it is. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I don't know, guys. But yeah, it is what it is, I guess, at this point. But I don't know if I'm liking the idea of the older um, Islanders coming in to make the decision of who stays and who goes. I don't know. Because I feel like I hope they're going to make the right decisions. Do you see what I'm saying? I really hope that Joey and Joey and Jesse and Matilda and Sean leaves and not the other couples. Like, not like um, Ayo and Jess or, or Mimi and Josh. Do you know what I'm saying? I just don't feel like neither um, Sean and, um, and Joey deserves to be in the finals. But at the end of the day, if we have to have one in there, then Joey needs to go, at least. I think Joey needs to go because I just don't see the point of him being in there anyways. Honestly, I feel like Joey is just not being real. I feel like it's just a persona for TV. He's not being real because 
it's just, I don't know. You can just see fake through things. I don't know. I don't know. Is it me? Is it me? Am I the drama? Do you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I look at Joey and when he says certain things and he does certain things, it just, to me, just seems for the camera. Do you know what I'm saying? So comment down below. Let me know what you think, guys. So they had the sports day today. I'm not going to lie. That made me laugh. Sean made me laugh. I mean, Sean is being a little bit funny in these last couple episodes because that whole, um, the yolks on you, that was funny. I've heard it before, but that was funny. Do you know what I'm saying? And then when he was talking to the boys about the, the steak that he made, and they were asking him, how did Matilda think the steak was? And he went, well, she gave it an 8.5, and that's when I realised she was lying. And that made me laugh, I'm not going to lie, because that wasn't... When they were eating that, to me, I thought that was rare. I don't think that was medium rare. That looked like it was rare, rare, right? So for um Kieran to actually validate that thought of mine because he said that was rare and then um when sean mentioned that she said it was an 8.5 and that's when he knew that she was lying that made me laugh because i was just like no nah, okay you're funny you, you're, you're funny you're not that bad because i've been disliking sean for a while i'm not gonna lie to you because of his own actions by the way his own actions but i did find him funny last night and i find him funny tonight as well but guys the sports day caused a little bit of drama because when um, Kieran started in the, the potato sack before the actual alarm went off, right? He basically got the team disqualified. So the, the point went to Jesse's team, basically. So in the following race, right, Jesse was saying to Nicole, don't cheat. And then Nicole said, well, I don't cheat. I've never cheated in my life. And then Jesse went, your boyfriend does. Now... <laughs> Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. When I saw this in the previews, I thought to myself, "Woo, she's obviously like trying to drag something up and give some attitude because she knew that Kieran had cheated in the past, right? So that's what I was thinking. But watching the game, knowing that Kieran did cheat in the, in the game before, I mean, she has grounds to stand on, you know what I'm saying? But Kieran clapped back and said, well, your boyfriend is the one that outed you. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, whoa, that went personal. Because here's the thing. So Jessie's adamant saying that she didn't mean it in a personal way. She was talking about it in the game, right? But even Joey was like, are you sure he didn't mean it just a little bit? This is how I know that Joey is just a shit stirrer. Because why would you then say that? I mean, if you're going to say that to Jessie, I would say that to Jessie when we're alone. Not when we're around everybody else in the team because he's the same one that said to jesse earlier jesse you've really had my back you know you've really had my back so much right and she's saying yeah i did even though i got in trouble for it you know what i mean i'm always gonna have your back so why would he then you know what i'm saying somebody that's always had your back right why would you then say in front of everybody well did you not mean it a little bit do you know what I mean? Were you not talking about the fact that he... You know what I mean? Why would you put her in that situation? But she's still adamant saying that, listen, I was talking about the game. He took it personal. He took it serious. I think it could low-key be both. I feel like she just wanted to throw some shade, but some shade that could be um, kind of like explained. Do you know what I'm saying? That's how I think. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like anyone should really come at her for that because what? He did cheat in the game before. So at the end of the day, where's your evidence? So I'm saying, you don't have no evidence. But anyways, Joey seemed to think that um, Kieran was competing with him. So he's telling everybody that Kieran's competing with him. And at the same time, Kieran is watching him saying that he's talking about me. And then Joey, Joey's talking about how Kieran smugged face. And Kieran is hearing it. So Kieran is saying, yeah, I'm smug because I won. My team won. But I feel like now, that's the reason why Joey actually wanted to vote for Nicole and Kieran. Because he's thinking, do you know what? Kieran's trying to um Kieran's trying to compete with me. Plus, remember he said, Oh, you know, after our disagreement today, you know, and he was like making an assumption that they would vote for them just because of that. You know what I'm saying? But who did they vote for again? Who did Kieran vote for? I know Kieran, they vote did they vote for Matilda? Guys, I don't remember. Remind me, did they vote for Jesse and Joey and um and Ayo and Jess? Or did they vote for Ayo and Jess and Matilda and Sean? I can't remember, but Actually, I think they voted for um, Joey and Jess because um, what's her name was adamant that she didn't want to do uh, Matilda. 
Nicole was like, no, she she was adamant about that. So I feel like it was Jesse and, and Joey. But anyways, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think about tonight's episode. Um, <laughs> I don't know, guys. I really just don't want my two favorite people to go home. Like, I just don't want it. I don't want any of them to go home. <sighs> I just hope that the, the older Islanders they're going to come in and actually do, do the show justice. Because if they're going to come in and save Joey just because of who Joey is, that's just going to piss me off. Do you know what I'm saying? But guys, hold on. Can I just say, ooh, I really like that curly hair on Jessica. Mm, didn't even recognize Shorty one at the time. I was like, ooh, what's that? And I looked, that hair suited Jessica. When it's like nice little, yeah, my like it. It was nice. It was really nice. I'm not gonna lie, it was really nice. I like Jessica. She looked really nice today. I'm not gonna lie with that hair. And guys, hold on. As soon as I remember this, I wanna laugh. Mimi looked like she was fighting for her life in that pool. <laughs> guys, Mimi looked like she was fighting for their life. <laughs> that was too funny. Mimi said, I'ma save these lashes, baby. But she looked like she was fighting for their life. I'm not gonna lie. But no, guys, I don't know. Who do you want to be dumped in sunday show please comment down below let me know who you want to save and who you want to go i actually was really looking forward to like making my vote <sighs> so i'm a bit annoyed that the islanders are going to be the one to choose but i might do a poll actually i'm gonna do a poll guys so look out for the poll on my community i'm gonna do a poll to see who we think is gonna be dumped who they're gonna choose yes guys which i'm gonna do a poll i'm gonna do a poll but yes guys comment down below let me know what you think about tonight's episode um i think that um joey or sean should go that's my opinion i want ayo and i want um josh and mimi and jess to stay that's my thing i do agree with um uh jessica because jessica was saying that she felt like sean is so far up um joey's bum and it's the truth he's so far up joey's bum and it's no joke and i do see the red flags with joey and jesse there's way too many red flags i feel like jesse's just overly glad that she has i feel like she thinks he's bagged the king of essex maybe i don't know maybe that's what it is she feels like she's bagged the king of essex especially now that he wants to make her an essex girl so you just never know at this point but anyways guys that is it that is my review this is the end of it so if you haven't yet thumbs up the video please go ahead and thumbs up the video and if you're new to my channel please subscribe please subscribe thank you guys i'll see y'all in sunday's video but for now keep it sassy delicious oh and have a good weekend guys bye Mwah.